to another day in my life. I had a final this morning and a dentist appointment. So two very not fun things. And now I'm super hungry because I did not eat much before my appointment. So I wanna go get a snack and I really need to get gas, but I'm too hungry to worry about that right now. So we're gonna get food first. Finally made it to Kane's. There's some construction going on in my town right now and it is so bad. It probably took like 30 minutes to go a few miles. I'm in the Kane's drive-thru. If you didn't know, I'm actually vegetarian. So there's not really anything I can get here besides like the fries and I guess like the toast and the coleslaw, but I don't get that. Their sauce is just so good. So I'm always craving it. So I'm getting some fries and the Kane's sauce and I'll probably get a Coke too. I'm starving. I've been starving for like two hours now. So I'm so excited to eat. Yes, thank you. You too. We finally got food. I just love a good crispy Coke. Something about a fountain drink Coke specifically, just there's nothing better. Oh my God, so good. Also, I got, why is my face so red right now? My eyes are watering from that Coke. I got a little trash can to keep in my car because I have a problem with just like throwing receipts and napkins and straw wrappers and stuff just literally anywhere, especially in like my side compartments and stuff. So I got this little trash can from Amazon and it clips onto the like cup holder. Super nice to have. All right, mukbang. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a mukbang. I'm, I can't remember. Also, I know this is a boring order, but it's so good and I don't really need more than this right now. I'm so excited. Their sauce is so good. First bite. If you guys know who Reagan777 is on TikTok, I've talked about her before. I love her content. She does like day in the life videos on TikTok and they're always pretty motivating, but she also has a mukbang account. And I don't know why I've never cared about mukbangs or anything like that, but something about her account is just so, so satisfying to watch. Oh my God. Well, don't know why I just did that. I just dipped my fingers into the sauce to pick up a fry. I feel like my brain is just not working today. After finals, a dentist appointment, all that traffic and just being hungry, I've been so ready to just eat and relax and be done for the day. All right, I'm gonna finish eating. Okay guys, I finished up at Kane's and now I'm at Target. I wanna see what kind of home decor they have. I actually haven't been to my hometown Target since like the last time I was here. So I'm a little nervous going in there right now. If you get it, you get it. The hometown Target is just where you run into everyone you know. And I also am not looking too cute right now. So I don't really want that to happen. Anyways, I kind of want to redo my room at home, which probably doesn't make much sense to you guys because I don't live there. But there's just like stuff all over the walls. I'll kind of explain more when I actually am home and I can show you. But I wanna just like change some little Little things so we're gonna go in and see what I can find that's cute I also want to go thrifting probably not today because I just went yesterday so I'll probably like wait a little bit longer let's go into Target All right, I got a couple things at Target. And before I give you guys a haul, let's go to Home Goods and see if we can find anything else. Actually, I need to get gas right now before we go to Home Goods, so we'll do that first. Before I give a haul of what I got, I do want to show you guys my room. For some of you, this is going to be just like a refresh, but for others, this is brand new. So if you've never seen this room before, this is my hometown bedroom. This is basically my childhood bedroom. I lived in this house for 18 years, so my whole life up until I moved to the dorms. So here is what it looks like. Normally my desktop is not there. I just brought it home for this trip because it is so much easier to edit on than my laptop. And since I'm going to be here for like a month, this was worth it to bring home. We have my closet. Closet. We have this little shelf. Ignore the mess. I actually cleaned up my room for this and you can't even tell because it's still messy So this is where the real like problem area is I feel like so as you can see multiple chunks of this collage are missing because I took some art with me when I went to college And I just never fixed it. <laughs> we have some vines that are like falling down These shelves that are kind of just like not really my style anymore at least the way that they're decorated my little nightstand Which is just this little table ignore my suitcases. We have this little 
record player over here. This mirror, it holds all of my jewelry, or at least it used to. I still really like that mirror. We have my dresser over here. A little sneak peek at what I got at Target. The top of my dresser is also messy right now, but there's some prints on the wall that are still there from when I lived here. So overall, it's a cute room. I don't like not like it, but this wall I feel like needs to be fixed and the vines, like I don't know. I feel like it's just busy and it's just hard to film in here when I don't love the way that the room looks. And since I'm gonna be here for a few weeks, I want to be able to film as much as I can for you guys. So basically I want to take this wall down and put up like a gallery wall. I know I've done that a lot recently in my LA apartment and in my current apartment, I just did the gallery wall above my bed, but I feel like it just looks nicer than just like prints stuck up on the wall. It can also be cheap if you thrift a bunch of stuff too. So that's what we're gonna try to do. And then also I wanna take the vines down. I wanna get like a little accent pillow or something to replace that stuffed animal. Maybe redo some of the shelves, maybe do something about my nightstand. I don't know. We're just gonna see how it goes. It is kind of sad because this is how my room was for a while before I moved to the dorms. So it really does feel like home still, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like at some point this has to come down. I'm very lucky that my parents kept my room the way it was when I moved out because I know that a lot of people don't get that privilege. So I thought I'd even help my mom out and maybe like redecorate a little bit in a more mature, nice way so that this can kind of serve as another guest room type thing. I don't know. It'll obviously still be my room, but you know what I mean. So let's do a quick haul. First thing that you guys already kind of saw is this painting from Target. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. It doesn't look like it would be from Target and it reminds me a lot of where I live right now. This is not from my room, obviously, but at Target, I also got croissants and some silver hoop earrings because mine broke. Then at Home Goods, I got this super cute little lamp. It's like pink. It's a mushroom. I liked it just by itself as a decoration, but it does light up with like some fairy lights on the inside. So I might actually take this back to my apartment because I just think it's so cute and it really matches the decor that I have. I also got some birthday and Christmas presents, so I won't show those, but I also got this picture frame at Home Goods. That is everything that I got for my room. It felt like more than that, but I think it's just because of all the presents I got. So I'll wait to actually start decorating until I have everything ready. So I will see you guys later. All right, you guys, it is the next day. I'm basically gonna do the same thing that I did in my last vlog. Today, I'm just gonna go to Panera because I have a final tomorrow that I need to study for and I can grab lunch. I'm going a little later this time because last time I went too early and it was so, so busy. So now we should be fine. It's probably like 1.30ish. Then I'm gonna go thrifting because I do wanna look for more stuff for the wall. And I think that's it. I feel like there was something else that I was gonna do, but I can't remember. So anyways, let's go to Panera. Guys, we finished up at Panera. It was honestly not my most productive day. I was so tired in there. I ended up going and getting a coffee too. And I had already had a soda. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I got a, I think like cinnamon toast crunch latte or something like that. I can definitely see what they were going for, but it's not that good, but it's okay. Yeah, I just did as much as I could. But, oh, but it was honestly not much. I am just so tired and I am gonna have a lot of time tomorrow too to study for this final because it's at four and I don't have anything before. It, so I was like, you know what? I'll try again tomorrow because this is just like too much for me Like my body's tired, but it's more my mind that is so tired right now Like I feel like I could fall asleep just because I don't want to think if that makes sense Probably not. I don't know if anybody is going through finals right now Also, you probably do know what I mean. But anyways, I'm gonna go to a couple thrift stores We'll see how I'm feeling. I don't know. Maybe I'll only do one But I had very good luck thrifting last time I went which was only two days ago So we'll see if that happens again. I doubt it because there's probably not gonna be like much new stuff but I'm so tired but let's go I'm back home. This is so random, but I think I'm gonna get a new camera. This girl that I follow, um, her name is Jasmine Lee. She posted this Instagram story. You can barely see, but there's this like white Sony camera in it and it has like a little microphone on it. And recently I've really been needing a new camera. I've been switching back and forth between the one that I was filming with in the car and this one. I have the Canon PowerShot V10 and the Canon G7X. They both have their own perks, but neither of them have everything. You know what I mean? I'm not even gonna get into it because I know some of you guys don't care about this, but I saw her post this story and I almost slid up and 
and was like, girl, how do you like the camera? Like, I'm thinking about it. And then the next slide, she literally posted that it's $100 off right now and was like, I love this camera. So I'm really thinking about it. It is expensive, but I have been needing a new camera for months now and just haven't found the perfect fit for me. And that one has like a microphone. It has a wide lens, which I really like. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. It's the Sony ZV-1 II. Anyways, let me give you a little haul. We're going to make this quick. I got a bunch of frames at the thrift store. I hit the jackpot. Everything is just really cool and I feel like I'm finally doing the gallery wall that I have always dreamed of. <laughs> Anyways, so I got this clock. Isn't this so cool? I feel like only some of you are gonna get it, but for those of you that do, I love it. We have this frame, which I don't know. I just think it's so cute. It's different. It's interesting. I love the colors. I feel like you would see this in like Matilda Jerk's house or something. Next, I got this super simple red one. Then I got this one because it matches the wood of a couple other things that I got. I kind of want it to look like a grandma's gallery wall, but in the best way possible. Then I got this, which I might change out the picture. I'm not totally sure. And then last but not least, I love this one. It's like this navy blue. Sorry for the glare. The color scheme is like some soft blues and pinks and stuff like that. Specifically, this color pink. So I got this frame from Marshalls and I really don't like that it's like velvet, but I feel like you won't be able to tell once it's actually hung up on the wall, like from far away. It doesn't look like velvet, right? I also liked that it had the gold details because I feel like that ties it in with the other frames. We have this frame, which I feel like this looks like something that you could thrift that like a grandma owned which I love and then last but not least from Marshall's is this little mushroom lamp isn't this so cute and it matches perfectly with this one so this will be super cute it's the next day I just went and picked up some command strips and the prints for all the frames so I am so excited to finally get started on this so let's do it Okay, so it turns out I should not be so confident in my ability to guess what size a frame is because I ordered three pictures that were the wrong size. I ordered four by sixes for five by seven frames. It just doesn't really look like a five by seven and I didn't even think to check because I just thought they were smaller, but yeah, all three of these do not work. So I just placed an order for these same prints, but in the bigger size and they probably won't be ready for like an hour. So I'll go pick up those later. But for now, let's start taking down my collage wall. It's really just so bittersweet taking this down for pretty much all of quarantine, I had this wall. The reason I haven't changed it, even though I haven't lived here for like two years, or longer than that actually, wait, I think a little over three years. Jeez, oh my gosh. Yeah, the reason I haven't changed it is because I'm sad and I feel like it won't feel like my room anymore if I change it, but I have kind of gotten over that. I was like, you know what? You literally don't live here anymore though. And this room is probably gonna change at some point. So you might as well do it while you have control over it. So this is so bittersweet, but let's start taking it down. taken down. It feels so weird. It makes the room feel smaller, but the new prints are ready. So I'm going to quickly go pick those up. Okay, you guys, so the gallery wall is finished. The only problem is that when I was recording a clip to tell you guys that I was using a new camera and I didn't really know how to work it. And so the whole thing is in slow motion with no audio. Now I'm more familiar with it and I do really like the camera, but we will hopefully not be making that mistake again. But anyways, I just wanted to update you guys that the wall is done. I'll include some clips of what it looks like in the daylight and I love how it turned out. It is the next day. It's time to do some more stuff in my room. First of all, it is so messy right now. I feel like I've said that so many times in these videos because it's hard when you're home from college, first of all. So I have suitcases, I have stuff that doesn't really have a place here, so I can't really put things away. I also have Christmas gifts, which I will be wrapping today. So we will be able to get some of those out of my room, which I'm really excited about. And since I'm redoing my room, there's just random decorations everywhere. So it's the perfect storm in my room right now. We are gonna clean it up. I am currently washing my sheets, so 
looks even messier. Also, I'm wearing some new pants from Brandy. These are so cute. They are these pink linen pants. I've been trying to get my hands on these for so long. They would always sell out really quickly, so I finally got them. I love them. They're so cute. Pink and white is one of my favorite color combos. Anyways, let's get started on cleaning up my room. There's a lot of stuff that I can't put away, so it will still be messy, but we're gonna do whatever I can. does not seem like it at all, but it looks so much better in here. Once I get the sheets on my bed and these presents wrapped, it'll make a huge difference. Now something that I wanna do is switch this with this so that this is my nightstand and that's the record player stand. So let's do it. Okay, I feel like this actually matches with the record player so well. And this really matches with the shelves and the gallery wall that I have. So overall, I actually love the way that this looks. I also want to put this picture frame that I got at Home Goods on this little tray over here and replace this little like jewelry tray that I painted. I just don't really like the color of it. There's no picture in it right now. So I need to find a picture and print it out to put in here. But for right now, I'm just gonna put it in the spot that it's gonna be. Now I wanna figure out something to do with these lamps. So this one, I think I'm gonna put on this shelf. I'm gonna move a few things around. I don't really like this plant. Succulents are just not really my thing. And this is pretty old. So I'm gonna replace this and move this because it doesn't really work. I'm gonna move this right here. And then this I think will probably just go in the center of this shelf right here. I'm not super concerned about everything looking perfect like I would be if I lived here full time. But since I'm only here for a small chunk out of the year, it's fine if not everything is decorated perfectly. I'm mainly just doing this to have like a nicer background when I'm filming and just so that the room looks a little bit nicer in general if anyone were to have to stay in here or something. But anyways, let's do something about this tag. But this is what it'll look like when it's on. I think you just put batteries in it, but I did not even think about that. So I don't think I have any batteries for it right now. That's okay. For this lamp, I think I'm gonna put it on one of these shelves up here. I'm thinking this one. This plant died, so there's nothing in here anymore. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take this down and move this right here and then just stack this on top. I think that looks pretty cute. Even without batteries, it just looks like a cool decoration. Like I don't think I'll ever be turning this on anyways. So I might just leave this one like that. I think that looks pretty cute. All right, you guys, it is the next day. I am going to Dutch Bros right now. Also, I don't know how this camera does in the car. It's just sitting on the dash right now. So hopefully it stays. Hi. Good, how are you? Can I just do a small ice chai a mode, please? Guys, I have a love-hate relationship with Dutch Bros because I don't always want to socialize when I am going to. Oh my gosh, okay. I just don't always want to socialize when I'm getting a drink. And so, I don't know. I like have to prepare a script when I go to Dutch Bros. I'm like, okay, what do I have going on for the day? What are my plans? I'm never prepared. Wow, this guy looks so pretty. I'm so confused because it's pink, but it's not like sunrise or sunset, but it looks like it is. That's so weird. It's literally 10, 20 a.m. right now. But anyways, I didn't tell you you guys what I am doing. We're going to Michael's because I was just telling the Dutch Rose guy I'm making a cake for Christmas for my family. Oh my god. Okay. I'll tell you guys later. Okay. As I have tried to tell you guys like three times now, we are at Michael's. I am responsible for making dessert for Christmas and I'm just gonna do like a box cake. But I want to try to decorate it as cute as I can. My mom requested a like white or yellow cake with chocolate frosting. And I'm not skilled at like writing words on cakes or anything like that. So I'm trying to think of like what what I can do to make it pretty that is easy enough. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna put little pearls all over the frosting. I have a vision. I think it'll turn out cute and maybe I'll look for a, like maybe like one of those little things that you can just stick in the cake. It's maybe like a Christmassy decoration. And I want to look for ribbons. I have been wanting to put ribbons in my hair multiple times since I've been here and I don't have any. So I think I want to try to get some red ribbon just to like be Christmassy and then maybe some like cream ribbon. I'm not too sure. And then I want to look for a journal because I have almost completely filled up my manifestation journal that I have at my apartment I forgot to bring it home though And I'm so sad, but I want to get like the same one just maybe in a different color and they have those here So that's what is on our list for today Pretty 
pretty successful trip. They only had like a few journals. It was not their normal selection. And I also didn't find any kind of like cake topper or anything like that. But I did get ribbon. I got cream and red. I got these pearls, which should be fine. They aren't as big as I was hoping to find, but these will still be cute. And I found the cutest Christmas plates. They are these cute little, I don't even know. It almost looks like these are like embroidered. It just reminds me of something you would see in like your grandma's house, but I just thought the little hearts were the cutest thing ever. And even though the season is almost over, I just still had to get those for future Christmases because I don't think I'll ever get over how cute those plates are. But that is everything that I got. We're gonna go home now. <laughs>